Josiah Wedgwood, July 12, 1730, January 3, 1795, was an English potter who founded the Wedgwood Company. He was perhaps the most famous potter of all time and is credited with the industrialization of the manufacture of pottery semicolon. It was by intensifying the division of labor that Wedgwood brought about the reduction of cost which enabled his pottery to find markets in all parts of Britain, and also of Europe and America. The renewed classical enthusiasms of the late 1760s and early 1770s was of major importance to his sales promotion. His goods were always considerably more expensive than those of his fellow potters. Every new invention that Wedgwood produced, green glaze, greenware, black basalt and jasper, was quickly copied. Having once achieved perfection in production, he achieved perfection in sales and distribution. A prominent abolitionist, Wedgwood is remembered too for his Am I Not a Man and a Brother? Anti-slavery medallion. He was a member of the Darwin Wedgwood family, and he was the grandfather of Charles and Emma Darwin. Biography Early Life, born in Burslem, Staffordshire, the eleventh and last child of Thomas Wedgwood, D. 1739, and Mary Wedgwood, nay Stringer, d. 1766, Josiah was raised within a family of English dissenters. By the age of nine, he was proving himself to be a skilled potter. He survived a childhood bout of smallpox to serve as an apprentice potter under his eldest brother Thomas Wedgwood IV. Smallpox left Josiah with a permanently weakened knee, which made him unable to work the foot pedal of a potter's wheel. As a result, he concentrated from an early age on designing pottery and then making it with the input of other potters. In his early twenties, Wedgwood began working with the most renowned English pottery maker of his day, Thomas Wheeldon who eventually became his business partner in 1754. He began experimenting with a wide variety of techniques, an experimentation that coincided with the burgeoning of the nearby industrial city of Manchester. Inspired, Wedgwood leased the Ivy Works in the town of Burslem. Over the course of the next decade, his experimentation and a considerable injection of capital from his marriage to a richly endowed distant cousin, transformed the sleepy artisan works into the first true pottery factory. Marriage and Children In January 1764 Wedgwood married Sarah Wedgwood, 1734-1815, his third cousin. They had eight children. Susanna Wedgwood married Robert Darwin and became the mother of the English nationalist Charles Darwin. Charles married Emma Wedgwood, his cousin. This double-barreled inheritance of Wedgwood's money gave Charles Darwin the leisure time to formulate his theory of evolution. John Wedgwood, 1766-1844 Richard Wedgwood, 1767-1768 died as a child Josiah Wedgwood II, 1769-1843, father of Emma Darwin, cousin and wife of Charles Darwin Thomas Wedgwood, 1771-1805, no children Catherine Wedgwood, 1774-1823, no children Sarah Wedgwood, 1776-1856, no children, very active in the abolition movement Mary Ann Wedgwood, 1778-86, died as a child.